Today I'm going to be talking about winter trends that I've been noticing. I've been doing a lot of research over Thanksgiving break, Pinterest, videos, magazines, even runway shows, just trying to get the overall vibe. These are some of the things that I think are going to be the most popular for winter. I think the overall vibe that I've noticed is like a 90s rom-com, like a New York winter 90s rom-com feel with a sportier touch to the minimalistic vibes that we've been seeing. So the first trend that I wanted to talk about is the faux fur jacket. I'm so excited about this one because I pull out my faux fur jacket anytime I can, but I've been noticing that people are styling it with like a turtleneck or a baseball cap. I like the juxtaposition of the faux fur jacket because it's like, it's more dramatic, kind of an elegant, classic like feel but when you add the baseball cap it makes it kind of like sporty and more casual it gives me like a New York vibe so I'm super excited about this one gray has been coming back in a big way I feel like the gray monochrome outfits are super in right now gray sweaters gray pants everything gray I feel like that's the color for winter, whereas like red was the color for fall and it's still coming and trickling into winter, but I think gray. Gray's the color right now. It's that 90s, that's what I'm saying. It's that 90s, chic, classic, 90s rom-com feel. Another thing that I think is coming back for winter right now is leopard print. I've seen it especially in pumps which pains my heart so badly because I had leopard pant pumps. I got rid of them because I felt at the time that they were just like kind of tchotchke and old lady vibes. I know I messed up but I do think there's a type of leopard print that is not the vibe. And I guess I'll put examples here, but as long as it's like not too like yellowy, too, too yellowy, I think you're in a safe spot and you can't go wrong with it. Even like just leopard belts, leopard bags, coats, I think just are a great kind of pop to whatever you're wearing. Even if you're wearing like a gray monochrome outfit and then a leopard pump. I think that's cute and I think that's chic. It's giving the nanny and obviously she was a fashion icon, so I'm not mad about this. I'm just mad I got rid of my pumps. So this one I'm excited about, but I don't know, maybe like I'm such a follower for this. I've had these, but I don't care. I don't care, it's so cute, it's so chic, and it's just the vibe right now for this holiday season is red tights. I just love it. I love I love the red tights with the black. I think it's so cute. I think you can wear it different ways, but like, I mean, I just, it's just the vibe. Like, I'm just a colorful tights person anyway, so I'm gonna be wearing this a lot. Next, I feel like I'm seeing a lot more people wearing like the skirt over the pants combo, which I have yet to, to do that and try that. So, and I've always wanted to, but I just feel like I never have like the right skirt to go over any of my pants because like, my pants, I feel like are a little more bulky, but I think the look of the skirt and the pants is like super, it just has like a super cool look, like feel to it. Like anytime I've seen a photo of someone wearing that combo, I'm just like, okay, they're cool. Like they're, they're a fashion girl. Another thing that I feel like I've been noticing a lot and maybe I'm just way late to this is the leg warmers over the pumps. And obviously the pump has been more popular this year. I feel like it's never ever gone out of style. I don't care like what anyone says. That's a classic. Everyone should have a pump. The leg warmers over the pumps, like a like a darker, like, or like a sagey green or like a gray or even white just looks super chic. I'm going to stock up on leg warmers this year. So I think that's just super fun and easy that anyone can try. 
I noticed this trending last fall and winter, but I feel like I'm still seeing it again and in more unique ways is wearing a tie either, I mean, how it's supposed to be with an outfit or like as a belt or kind of as a scarf or like tied around your neck. I think just playing with ties is a super just interesting detail to an outfit that just has a preppy cool girl feel. Bows just have a chokehold on all of us, and me included. Bows on bags, bows on your clothes, pinning them, bows in your hair. Any way you can add that into the wardrobe, like I'm gonna ride the train of this trend, okay? Because it's super cute. It's girly. I feel like it has something to do with like the ballet trend overall. Okay, these are my last ones that I'm not going to go into further detail on because they're kind of like either they're something I've already been seeing in fall or they're kind of just like I don't think they're as big as the other ones. So trench coats, oversized coats with like a cinch and like more of a sportier vibe. I think that's definitely just carrying on from fall. Socks with ballet flats and Mary Janes carrying on for fall from fall, but like we're not gonna stop this. I love that. Like a hood kind of attachment, kind of like babushka vibes, but just like it's literally like the ones that you tie and I think you can add like a pop of color with that. Cardigans with baggy jeans long cardigans with baggy jeans or like a white t-shirt under a cardigan i mean i think that's a trend but tims i feel like are coming back right now yeah that shinier tim i'm seeing like a lot right now i'm not gonna participate i've had tims i'm just like i don't know like i live in arizona i just it's not happening for me i feel like this is was a summer trend wearing like just boxers as shorts but then layering it now underneath like a pant, like a baggier pant. So that's just showing um, like up top for an added detail. That's pretty much it. But yeah, I'm really excited to try some of these out and incorporate them in my own style and personal wardrobe. So let me know if there's anything else that you're noticing becoming popular for winter. Yeah, thank you.